Hello guys, you are welcome once again to Adi Kitchen. My name is Hade. You are welcome today. I'm going to show you how to do my step fry. I have beef, I've already cut. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead now, add the spices I'm going to use now. So I'm going to show what I'm going to use to marinate the beef. So I have my pepper. You know my pepper. I have oregano. I'm going to add salt with some mangi. I have my soya sauce. So I'm going to add it now. About two spoon. Yeah, that's fine. Two spoon. And my chili powder. If you don't, uh, if you don't like chili powder, you can leave it aside. But I'm just adding it. Now, I've prepared this. I'm going to keep it aside to marinate. So we go on with the vegetable. I have bag. Bell pepper, I have red, green, I just has one yellow one. So I have my carrots, red onions. Also, I have my spring onions. Oh, it's going to make it to look delicious. And I have my ginger and garlic. It will make it so have good flavor also with my vegetable oil. So I'm going to cut, start cutting the veggie now. Straight. If you have somewhere to get fresh um, cutting like this already, it's better also for you. But I just want to have my own cutting it so it will look fresh. Well, it's a job anyway, but sometimes it's good to do it. Just cutting them. Put the carrots, everything and wash. So I'm just continue go ahead cutting. So this is the carrots. The same process also I'm passing. I'm using to cut. process I'm still passing for the carrots here yeah? okay. so I'm going to add one egg oh <laughs> that's in you that's fine so I'm going to add the corn flour the flour So you have to use your hand to match it very well to marinate together properly. So you have to leave it to go everything to go inside, set it aside again. So I have to wash my hand, then I'll go on with the with the onions. So we are cutting, I'm going to cut the onions now. Just the, almost the same size you cut your big pepper. Everything so is going to look colorful and look delicious also. Put it in the bowl. 
to keep aside bring onions plus my bigger wheel just like this way I'm going to go ahead and cut this more and the onions is there okay now we are going to so we are going to go ahead now cooking so I'm going to leave it to hot after hot I had oil vegetable oil just few oil I'm through cutting the ingredient, the bed pepper. Everything is there. Look at they look so colorful. So this is the beef. This everything. I'm going to go ahead now. Remember, I've put the pot, the pan, the fire. So now I'm just gonna go ahead now. Pouring it there on the fire. It's going to be stirred frying just with slow heat. Yeah, now look at it. It's going to be look brown. If everything have put on, it's going to be golden, brown, golden color, things like that. by five minutes so I'm just gonna wait for more minutes then I'm gonna turn it now that's from the pan okay I'm gonna pull pull it up put it there just keep with the same with the same pan just go ahead and add some oil so it's going to out. After out now, we go ahead with the onions. Just try add enough oil because we are going to step fry the oats now. So we go ahead now the onions. We add in the bell pepper, the red one. The yellow one and the grey one as well. Then we we'll put the carrots. Adding the carrots. So I'm just going to turn it now. Turn it there around so that they got everything fried together. So then this is uh, uh, this time now you're free to add any other vegetable of your choice anyone you can add broccoli as well you can put it if you like so just go ahead to add whatsoever you want to add in this case i'm going to add the soya sauce so you bring a good taste having more good taste with that So I'm going to leave it to step fry. Just I need about four minutes so everything will be okay. I'm just going to add some little teaspoon of honey. We'll give it good taste and make it nice also. Just try to mix them very well together. Yeah. Looking good and nice, colorful. So in this time, after all, you have continued turning them together. So you are going to introduce the beef back there inside the pot. So by this time now, I'm going to have the beef. Wow, they have to stay together. Yes, look at it. 
so I have to mix it very well so everything have to go fine together so I have this the corn flour I show you guys before is it now so I'm going to add some of them inside before I do before I do that I'm going to add the ginger and garlic okay so I go ahead now just little not much I'm done So I don't want to let the the bell pepper to dawn so much so that it will look the the spring onions. Add in them. Remember your corn flour, you have to really mix it first with water. If not, you are going to get a lot of corn flour without just like mold in your food, which you don't want that. Okay. So in this case, if you want to have some water, you can go ahead, just add a little water. If you feel it's thicker, just go ahead and add some water with it. That is what I'm going to do now. Just a little pinch of water I'm going to add. Just a little water. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, we have come to the end of the cooking. This is the step fry. Just try to make your at home look at it. Try not to let the veggies dump properly so that you can feed the crunchy. You can enjoy it very well. So I'm going to go off the gas now. I'm true, guys. Yeah, we meet on the table. Wow, welcome back again. We have come to the end of the cooking. Look at it. So good, yummy. Hey, you see, I've come with another wonderful recipe. Try your own again at home. Looks so yummy. And eat with your loved ones. Don't be stitching. Bye bye. See you on the next video shortly. Bye. Okay, before I forgot again, please, my supporter, God bless you. Thank you for supporting your sister. Ah, God bless you, Richling. Oh, if you are passing by, you have not subscribed, please subscribe. The Lord will do you good also. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.